Hello and welcome back to another edition of Cook! Don't be lazy! So we're a few weeks past the big game, the big football game. And I saw, I saw a list online that Google put out. And I'm going to put, up, put it up here on the screen in a second. And here I honestly thought everybody ate chicken wings. Everybody ate chicken wings for the big football game. Boy was I wrong. Only three states, three states look up chicken wing recipes. Colorado, New Hampshire, Maine, you guys got it right. I live in Florida. Apparently us Floridians, we want to we want we're interested in shrimp recipes for the big football game. Idaho, come on. Really? 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 You had to pick a potato? That that's what you want for the for the for the game? That'd be like us looking for oranges. Come on, be original, guys. Chili, surprisingly, nine states picked chili for the Super Bowl. I would have never thought that. So I, apparently, chili's the most popular item for the uh, for the big football game. Alaska, what is going on with you guys? Dill pickle with beef dip. Really? What the heck is that? I can't even picture what that looks like or tastes like. I don't even. Ugh. Something wrong with y'all. Let's get started on those baked chicken wings. This is actually what a full chicken wing looks like. You got the drumstick, you got your flat, and you got the wing tip. Take a sharp knife, cut off your wing tip. Go right through the center of the flat and the drumstick. Real easy. Your flat. Drumstick. So we're going to take some olive oil, do a slight little drizzle, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I'm going to give it a toss. By the way, I just realized, I don't think it's called a drumstick, it's a drumette. The drumstick's a doo -doo -doo -poosh. So, drumette, flat, or winget, and the, um, the wing tip. So we're just going to toss this to kind of get an even coating. Preheat your oven 400 degrees. Get yourself a baking tray with one of these cooling racks. It'll help the uh, wing cook crispier so that when the heat gets underneath it as opposed to the wing sitting in its own juices. Spray it with some some kind of spray. And let's put our chicken on it. If you organize it properly you can fit a lot of chicken. Notice how it's not overcrowded. There's plenty of space in between each wing. We're going to toss this in the oven. Remember, preheat the oven 400 degrees. We're going to toss it in the oven 25 minutes. Let's do 25 minutes. After the 25 minute mark, we're going to flip the chicken so that the other side gets properly cooked. So it's been about 20 something minutes. So we're just going to flip our wings. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. Make sure your wings are dry. If your wings aren't dry, your skin isn't going to crisp up. So you want dry wings. In other words, if you got them in the freezer and you thaw them out, use a paper towel and pat them dry. You don't want to stick wet wings into the oven. Not if you're expecting a crispier skin.
Back in the oven it goes. Another 25 minutes. That's a total cook time of 50 minutes. In the meantime, let's make our hot sauce. Take a small pot. Some butter. The good restaurants, the ones who know how to make hot wings, I find that most of them like to use Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So why are we combining butter with hot sauce? To make it a little milder. If you like your wings hot, hot sauce, that's all you need. But if you're like me, and you like your wings medium, throw in a little butter. It'll take away some of that heat. If you like your wings mild, throw in a lot more butter. And you'll end up with milder wings. So all we're doing is we're melting the butter into the hot sauce. That's it. It'll take two, three minutes tops. So my wings are almost done. I'm going to cut up some celery because you can't have wings without celery. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this hot sauce, medium sauce, over my wings and we're going to plate up. These look like they came straight from the restaurant. They look amazing. Man, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications, drop a comment. Otherwise, how else are you going to find out what I put out next week? For this week, baked chicken wings. Next week, who knows? So until next time, cook! Don't be lazy.